viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So last video, I have completed all the short questions on partnership accounts. In this video, I'm going to start the main problems on this partnership accounts one. So in this chapter, we have the problems on preparing the uh, capital account, profit and loss appropriation account, and then admission of partner, retirement and death of these are the points we are going to cover up in all the coming videos. So before starting the main problems, I expect my viewers that you have already watched all the short questions. In examination, you may get a main problem or also you may get a short questions. So if you want the perfect knowledge, watch all the videos from beginning till end. Don't skip in between and don't join in between. So if you have not watched the earlier videos, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel select the subject advanced accounting new select the videos of partnership accounts be perfect about the concepts then you can easily understand the problems so before starting the main problem i expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which i have given in the link under my description so always keep ready the problems take the screenshot of the points then i'll explain Now, see the first problem. X and Y start business with capitals of 90,000 and 45,000 on 1st Jan 2008. The two partners X and Y. So the capital of X 90,000 and Y 45,000. Y is entitled to a salary of 600 per month. So there is an agreement that Y should be paid a salary of 600 per month. So 600 into 12. 7200 is the per annum salary payable to Y. Interest is allowed on capital and is charged on drawings at 5% per annum. So the firm will charge interest on drawings and the firm will allow interest on capital at 5%. Profit are to be distributed equally after the above adjustments. Profit sharing ratio 50-50. Half profit to X, half profit to Y. Uh, during the year, X withdrew 10,000 and Y 12,000. These are the drawings. And profit before the adjustment amounted to 52,000. This 52,000 is the profit which we got in profit and loss account. Now, from this 52,000, we have to make the adjustment regarding interest on capital, interest on drawings, salary of the partner. After making this adjustment, whatever profit is there, that profit is called divisible profit and that divisible profit will be distributed equally among the partners assuming the capitals to be fixed that means when capitals are fixed all adjustments will be done in current account so two accounts will be opened for every partner one capital account another current account the capital account will remain same whatever beginning capital is there end of the year also is the same capital like 90,000 capital of X at the beginning of the year and also at the end of the year. And Y45,000, same, no change. All the adjustment will be done in a new account called current account. Prepare the profit and loss appropriation account and the capital accounts relating to partners. Capital accounts relating to partners means we have to prepare the capital account and also we have to prepare the current account. First of all, we are required to make the profit and loss appropriation account. In short problems also we have done. Again, profit and loss appropriation account. Credit side we take the profit before adjustment. This is the profit which we got in profit and loss account. So by profit and loss account 52,000. Now remember interest on capital is an expense to the firm. That's why we should take it on the debit side. Interest on drawing is an income to the firm so it should be taken on the credit side now the rate of interest on capital is 5% and interest on drawing is also 5% first of all interest on capital debit side 90,000 is the opening capital and closing capital will also be same so 90,000 into 5% 4,500 this is the interest on capital of X 
Industrial capital of Y, 45,000 is the capital into 5%, 2,000 to Industrial capital. Now, interest on drawings. It is not given when the drawings are made. In theory video, I have explained you three situations. If nothing is mentioned when drawings are made, on what date drawings are made by the partner, if it is not given, we assume the drawings are made in the middle of the year, in the center of the year. That's why we should calculate interest on drawings for half year. Half year, right? So here drawings are 10,000, 5%. So 10,000 into 5% will be 500. But we assume that drawings are made in the middle of the year. So we calculate for half year. Half year means six months, six by 12. So many students got the doubt regarding this. We are calculating interest on capital for the full year, but interest on drawings is made for the half year. What is the reason? The reason is this one, clear. The capital will be intact for the whole year. Whereas drawings are made in the middle of the year. That is our assumption. Huh, if dates are given that drawings are made on so and so date so accordingly we can calculate for number of days number of months but when dates are not given middle of the year that's why we should take six months so 10,000 into 5% into 6 by 12 250 12,000 is the drawings for Y so 12,000 into 5% into 6 by 12 300 the so interest on drawings interest on capital now salary is payable to Y. It is given in the problem according to agreement. 600 rupees per month. So salary, Y salary, 600 per month into 12, 7,200. That's all. Only three adjustment. Interest on capital, interest on drawings and salary of Y. Now we find out what is the divisible profit. So take the total of the credit side. 52,000 plus 250 plus 300. 52, 550. From 50 to 550, subtract the debit items minus 4500, minus 2250, minus 7200. The divisible profit balancing figure is 38600. This is the balancing figure. This is the net profit, divisible profit. Now, this net profit will be divided between the profit between the partners in the profit sharing ratio. Here, the profit sharing ratio is equal 50 50. So half of 38,600 is 19,300. So half is 19,300. So total 38,600, half of the profit goes to X and half of the profit goes to Y. So each partner will get 19,300 each. That's it. This is the profit and loss appropriation account. Now we prepare the current account. All the adjustments will be taken in partner's current account. So instead of taking uh, preparing separate current account for X and Y, I make both the partner's current account in one account itself. So debit side two columns and credit side also two columns. Instead of that, you can prepare separately also if you want. But it is better to prepare both the accounts, X current account and Y's current account in one account itself. So debit side X and Y, Credit side also X and Y. Interest on capital, salary of the partner, and share of profit. These three items always will come on the credit side. So first of all, interest on capital. Already we have calculated interest on capital 4500 to X and 2250 to Y. So by interest on capital 4500 to 2050. Secondly, salary. Salary is payable only to Y. So in Y, 7,200. There is no salary to X. Share of profit. The profit is shared by both the partners. 19,300 each partner got. So here profit and loss appropriation account. Profit, 19,300. Three items on the credit side. Debit side, two items will come. Drawings and interest on drawings. So first we take drawings, 10,000 drawings for X and 12,000 drawings for Y given in the problem. Interest on drawings already we have calculated here 250 to X and 300 to Y. So 250 and 300. 
we have taken all the items now simply we need the balancing figure at the end of the year what is the balance in current account of x and y take the total on the credit side 4500 plus 19300 23800 from 23800 minus 10000 minus 250 the balance is 13550 13,550 is the closing balance in current account of X. So this is the balance carried down 13,550. Here by balance brought down 13,550. Similarly, you have to find out the balance in Y's current account. Credit side total 28,750. From 28,750 minus 12,000 minus 300, you'll get 16,450. This is the balance in current account of Y. So similarly, this is carried down and this is brought down. That's all. This is the current account. Now capital account. It is asking you to prepare the capital and current account of both the partners. Now capital account. Now the capital brought at the beginning of the year. That means by balance brought down or simply you can say because it's a new firm. They have started the business. So instead of writing by balance brought down, it is better to write bank. Because it's not a business which is coming from previous year. It is a newly formed business started on 1st January 2008, current year only. So when capital is brought, the entry will be bank account debit, capital account credit. So capital credit side by bank. 90,045 right end of the year also it will remain same because fixed capital method so simply take 90,000 same 90,000 to balance carried down 90,000 by balance brought down 90,000 similarly wise capital account 45,000 beginning of the year same 45,000 end of the year balance brought down that's all so this is the first problem on uh, partnership accounts main problem number one in this problem we have prepared the profit and loss appropriation account current account and capital account so inshallah we'll continue the next problem in the next video